Hi everybody, Scott here. I just wanted to take a few minutes and do a quick screencast on uh, a tool that's embedded in Google Form that I find really helpful when I'm trying to think about my formative and summative assessment, especially in a blended hybrid or even remote environment. So I just wanted to take a few minutes and, and walk you through it. So um, I think many of us are familiar with Google Forms. We certainly see them all the time, perhaps use them with our students. The piece that I find really helpful is if you come up to the gear icon in the upper right, it has the ability for quizzes. And this um, may be known to you, maybe not, but we find this piece really helpful. And so if we make it a quiz, um, what happens is when students go in and whether it's a pre-assessment or whether it's um, them checking their knowledge to see if they're ready for the summative, the quiz can automatically give students feedback on their answers depending on the type of question. Certainly multiple choice, short answer. Um, and I'd like to show you what that looks like. So if you come up and you make it a quiz, um, I usually release grade immediately after each submission and I like students to be able to see everything. And so I've gone ahead and built one just as an example just so you can kind of see. So math question, multiple choice, find the value of x, students have four different options. And here's the fun part. So because it's a quiz, it now allows me to have an answer key. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And based on the student's answers, I can direct them or give them specific feedback. So if they get it right, I can send a con congratulatory message. Hey, great job. You did this. Looks like you're, you're all set. If they got it incorrect, I can send them a message, but I can also redirect them to a specific piece of learning. So in this case, chances are that there was um, a calculation error or not knowing how to calculate. So I put a video in, just a quick one that students could watch, and then they could go back and retake that particular quiz question again if they wanted. And again, just another multiple choice question, um, coal, oil, and natural gas are what types of fuel? And again, um, if, I, if I click on this, um, I have the ability to signify what the correct answer is and also direct them to some specific feedback on, on basically what, what they answered. It works a little different if you have sort of an open-ended long answer long answer question like a paragraph, but you can still use that. So the feedback that they get when they submit is, hey, I'll take a look at this and give you some feedback once I get to it. Similarly, they can um, upload a file and you can kind of get back to it. I wanted to show folks how to do this. So if uh, my funny question, does pineapple belong on pizza? I remember watching a debate on Jimmy Kimmel and there's really no right or wrong answer here, but just so you get the idea. So I wrote the question just like I would in uh, Google Forms under the quiz feature. And now I have a chance to um, enter specific feedback. So I can type a message, I can upload a link to a particular hyperdoc or, or something from class or another piece of learning, I can embed a video. So for me, the correct answer is yes, sure does. And so that's the answer if you answer that. If it's incorrect, um, I'm going to send them to a particular uh, link here where here's Jimmy Kimmel talking about the pizza debate. And so if I come back here, I can add a particular video and save it. And so now, um, depending on how you feel or what the answer is, um, a specific piece of feedback will be given to students. And so if we go over here and then open this link as a participant, um, so I can go in and enter the questions, the email, um, is for another feature I'll show in a second. Add my name. So I think the value of x is 5. 
Um, I think um, coal and oil are a type of nuclear fuel. So here there's a essay question. I think that, and I can add, um, what does equity look like for you? Just a different type of question. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a, a file that, a picture that I drew that shows that, and I'm going to say yes, absolutely. And so as a student now, I'm going to submit uh, my quiz, and I have a chance to go and, and view score, if you will. So um, if I go in, I can see, oh, I got that question right. Congrats. Looks like you're in a good place with this. So I feel pretty confident about that. Um, here, um, coal, oil, and natural gas are what types of fuel? Um, I said nuclear, and obviously I made a mistake in the, uh, the feedback form, so I'm going to go change that. But just so as an idea, you can kind of get the example. Um, in the longer ones, you can just say, hey, I'm going to get to your essay or your piece of writing, or I'm going to look at what you said and um, kind of do it that way. So the power here is if we go back to the assessment part, if I'm getting ready for a unit, I could use something like this as an assessment of prior knowledge just to see where students are at, to help me plan my lesson. If the majority of students know this particular aspect of government, then I probably don't need to spend a whole lot of time. And then as students walk through this choice board or menu board, at some point they're going to get ready to sort of build themselves ready to take the summative assessment. And obviously formative will be in here. And so one way that they might help determine if they're ready for that summative is they could use this type of quiz. And this particular example was generated from the learning lab and it says badge test. And so one thing I want to show you is if we go back to uh, my quiz and I come up here to something called certify them. This is an add-on and essentially it's a, it's a badging system. So what will happen is um, I can turn it on. Um, if you are using any points or any sort of benchmark, you could say um, you need this sort of level of correctness um, to earn your badge or your certificate. You can then customize a particular badge or certificate that they get. And just so you can see what some of them look like. So there's lots of different ways that you could sort of make a certificate that says, oh, I've got a badge or a micro-credential for this, or you're ready to, to move on to the next piece just as a way to invite um, students in. So again, I think this is a really helpful um, process that we can invite students in to be assessment partners with us. They get the data instantaneously, you get the data instantaneously, and the idea is that we can make informed decisions uh, moving forward. So hope this has been helpful for you and um, hopefully you give it a try. I'd like to hear how it goes. Thanks.